Alright, so in this video we're going to have a look at all things specifications. We're going to have a look at generating them from the costing screen, how to edit them once they're in the specs area, how to add images, a note to selections, and also exclusions uh, within the specification area. So I'm going to go through to my build exact account over here and you'll notice I've got a, a bunch of them already in here and I'm just going to point out how these got here and how you yourself can go and, and build your specifications. So if I open up any of the categories and I'm doing this just by clicking the little arrows on the left, you'll notice a lot of these have this little lock symbol on them. What that's saying is these are locked because if you hover over it, it'll, it'll tell you more about it. They're locked because it's come from the estimate items or estimate costings. So to add a bit more context to that, I put them into my specifications using this S button here. Now I've used that S button because I really like the idea that when I am uh, preparing a quote, I can grab all of the estimate costings uh, items and have them for me and then present just the highlights or the, the client ones to that client using the S button. So I think of S more as show to client uh, than I do specifications, but S is ultimately for specification. So the job to be done would be, as you're quoting it up, use this S button to pick the things that you think the client will want to know about so for example, they're gonna to wanna to know you've got insurance, they're going to wanna know if you've sorted out the permit, uh, they're going to wanna to know things like appliances and fixtures and paint colors and that kind of thing, uh, which I'm sure uh, I'm telling you stuff that you guys already know having dealt with clients for, for many years. Going back to the specifications, once they're in here, you can grab them, drag them with these little dots. You can do the same with the actual categories themselves. You can add items if you need to uh, add additional uh, descriptions or things that weren't mentioned in the costings. You just want to free type them in. And you can really make it look whatever, you know, the way you want it to look. Other things you can do with this are you can change some of the, uh, the imagery. So for example, if I go into the appliances, I'm going to do that right here. I've got cooktop, wall oven, range hood, dishwasher. They're perfect things that I might want to show to the uh, to the client of, of what selection or what item I've, I've got as a default. So I'm going to use this little image here and go build exact images. Now the first one was the oven. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was the cooktop. Quickly swap that one over. So as long as you've got them saved, they're really quick and easy to, to drop them in. And if you go down the path of uh, saving whole estimates as templates, this becomes even quicker. Beautiful range hood, dishwasher, etc. And you could do this for a whole number of things within your quote. Now, when we get to the next section of printing the quote, you'll see specifically where that sits. Uh, but I just think that's a great way to A, uh, you know, add a bit of uh, extra uh, appeal to your quote, but also uh, give a bit of imagery around what the items are actually going to look like and potentially save yourself a bit of headache if the client at this point picks up, oh, no, 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 that's not really the one I want. Uh, it's better that they figure that out early versus later. The next thing we want to have a look at is uh, selections. Now, in this specification tab, we've actually started adding the option for selections to be put through here. Now this video is not going to cover entirely how you do this. There's a whole separate video on this, but the main things I want to point out are the kind of gateway into selections is this little exclude or to share option. And the main reason I'm pointing it out here is uh, just to really cover uh, maybe a misconception that we've had people uh, come across where you've got exclude and to share that really doesn't relate to specifications at all. Uh, in fact, if you left all of these as exclude, they would still show in the specifications on your quote. So I guess to put it another way, there is no need for you to go to share, to share, to share, to share, to share. 
and do that in order for them to show in your quote. Uh, this is purely to do with the selections. And you'll notice when I do go to share, it starts opening up things like the dollars, notes, etc., which are more related to selections than they are specifications. Lucky last, exclusions. We put this in here mainly because we get a number of questions from people saying, hey, um, you know, I've seen how the quote gets put together. I've seen how I can do terms and conditions, etc. But is there a spot where I can specifically say, hey, Mr. Client, Mrs. Client, uh, this is not part of the quote that I'm preparing for you? And the short answer is yes, absolutely. Uh, you're more than fine to have an exclusions category. And I'd go there, click open, and then add items into it. So I might have you know, specifically stated curtains not included. And you could have you know, a whole bunch of them in here. You could also put them sporadically through the different categories. But the main point is this is, if I could spell, uh, this is the main place for exclusions that, that are specific to this project. Fantastic. Hopefully that's made sense. Any questions at all, as always, let us know. Mm -hmm.